Do you have an office or guest bedroom you just can't get right? Well, you're not alone. So many people are struggling with this because a lot of people are still working from home. It's a difficult one, but in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to do just that. I'm sharing five tips on how to master a multi-purpose room. If that seems like something you're interested in, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And I do wanna thank Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video, but I'll tell you more about them later on. Let's get into today's video. In a multi-purpose space, lighting is everything. Because I feel like when there's not enough light, obviously the room looks smaller because it's just not properly illuminated. And again, if a room looks smaller, it feels more cluttered and we're just not you know, using the room to the best of our ability. So of course I want you to add down lighting. So if you just have like a measly little down light, maybe we can switch out the type of light bulb that you're using or add a chandelier or a shade that diffuses the light a little bit more and spreads it out throughout a space so that you get more lighting but you don't just need overhead light you also need a lamp on your desk um, or your workstation you also need a floor lamp in your sitting area or in your living area so whether that be an arc lamp a tall floor lamp or you have lamps on either of your side tables if you do have side tables that's going to help with the ambiance in the room because if someone is staying in that room you don't want to say oh hey you got to walk all the way across the room to turn off the light I know it's something really little but in our bedrooms we have nice stand lamps right so we want to give them the same courtesy so we want to have a lamp that they can really easily access from that sofa whether that be on a side table or a floor lamp again you do want a light in your office space so that you can do your work and you can do it while being able to see well because overhead lighting sometimes just is not enough Another way you should add lighting in your office space or your multi-purpose room is to add some closet lighting because these multi-purpose rooms again turn into storage rooms and these closets are almost always super cluttered. If we add some type of lighting, whether that be shelf lighting or motion sensor lights that you can get like a peel and stick version and put them in the closet will really, really do a great job because again, you'll know what you have in the space. So it will allow you to organize the space better, know what you're actually getting out of the closet so that you don't have to go in and out. It helps Helps keep it really organized so that you can get in and out you're not disturbing your guests you're not messing up your office taking everything out because you can't see what it is you're looking for the next way to master multi-purpose space has to do with decor and styling. So a lot of the time when people are working with a multi-purpose space, they do not treat it with the same care that they would their primary bedroom or their kids' rooms or something like that. They don't decorate it. They don't add those details that create an elevated experience. In that multi-purpose space, that is still very important. It's important for you when it comes to rugs and you're in your office because you want to feel really comfortable on your feet while you're doing work. And the same thing applies in this space when you're hosting people because you want your guests to feel comfortable even if they're sleeping on a futon or a pull-out bed. One of the best ways to increase the comfort and luxurious vibe in a multi-purpose space is to invest in high quality sheets because that totally transforms the sleeping experience. When I like to select sheets for multi-purpose spaces for any space in the home, I love to use Brooklinen sheets. And again, I want to thank Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. And they are offering my audience $20 off an order of over $100 if you use the code Kiva. But let me tell you why I love these Brooklinen sheets. We spend a third of our lives asleep and that means that we want to feel comfortable in bed and a huge part of comfort in bed is the sheet it all comes down to the sheets and Brooklyn gives you that hotel quality sheet without the markup because they've eliminated the middleman they are bringing those products right to you so I actually picked up the Brooklyn Lux hardcore bundle and in that bundle it comes with the Lux core sheet set some extra pillowcases a duvet cover and some really cute tote bags that my wife loves to take for lunch. So whereas this ranges between $200 and $250, depending upon the size of your bed, when you are getting these from a hotel manufacturer, you're going to be spending upwards of $500. And that is just so much money. But these feel identical, but you are not burdened with that huge price tag. So I like to go with the 
all white bedding because you know I love that hotel feel but they have over 20 plus colors and patterns to choose from so you can mix and match to your heart's content. I am telling you when it comes to a multi-purpose room, a standard guest room, your primary bedroom, the sheets change everything. The entire house can be in disarray but if I'm sleeping on these fantastic Brooklyn and sheets I am sleeping like a baby. So the Lux Hardcore Bundle comes with sateen sheets which are 480 thread cap and sateen feels just like butter. It feels just like butter. You kind of like slip and slide on these sheets in the best way possible. I think of it kind of as like sleeping in a princess's bed and I love that. I love the sentiment of that. And when you actually opt for the bundle, instead of just getting the set on its own, you're actually saving 25% on the total cost. And you know, here on DIY with KB, we're all about the Lux Look for Less. Brooklyn is already affordable and here's a way to make it even more affordable. So I definitely recommend that you pick up the bundle. Now this is not my first time with Brooklyn and Sheets and you guys know this because when I like a brand, I love working with them, but I also love to support them on my own. So Brooklyn and Sheets, my first time on them, it felt like I was sleeping on a luxurious cloud if there is such a thing. Now I am a huge Brooklyn and fan and there are 100,000 five-star reviews of Brooklyn and on their website. So there are tons of happy sleepers as well. Brooklyn Inn is fantastic and I urge you to give it a try. And if you do want to give Brooklyn Inn a try, you can use my code Kiva for $20 off orders over $100. I promise you, you're going to have the best night's sleep you've ever had with Brooklyn Inn sheets. So let's talk about more ways to maximize your multi-purpose space. The next way to master your multi-purpose space is to eliminate mirrors and artwork that has glass on it. And you're like, Kiva, how am I gonna tell how I look? Well, we already know you look good, so you don't need that. You can actually keep mirrors in other parts of the home. Mirrors are great in entryways and bedroom proper, but we don't actually want that in an office space. And it's not because I don't want you to look at yourself. The reason being that if you're in a call and if your office has to be right across from that sofa or something like that, it is actually going to reflect everything else you have going in the room. So your boss will see whatever your hobby is, whoever your guest is, and all of that. They will see all of the mess and you will feel compelled to clean up that room all of the time. And you know what? Some of us just don't like to clean all the time. You should be able to live in your home comfortably without having to worry about what it's going to look like on camera. So if we don't have mirrors, we don't have that problem. Now, we're not just eliminating mirrors, but we're also getting rid of artwork that has a glass frame on it. So there's nothing wrong with it. I think that they look good. But when you are in a Zoom call, if you have something that has glass on it or even plexiglass or even acrylic, it does reflect, right? So you can still see kind of some of the mess and it makes the, the Zoom call look really blurry in the background. You can see everything that's going on. If someone walks by, you will be able to see that. So it's hard to actually use this room as a multi-purpose room. It's hard to use this room as an office for two people, or if someone is taking a nap in there while you're on a call on mute, you just don't wanna have those distractions. So if you don't have mirrors and you don't have wall art that has glass in front of it, it is going to really, really change the game for you. <laughs> Now the next way to master your multi-purpose space actually has to do with the closet. And the way you can really master this space is to add a closet system. So a lot of homes by default come with just wire shelves and there's nothing wrong with wire shelves, but one, lots of things that slip through wire shelves. And two, they don't actually put the shelves all the way up to the ceiling and they don't use the space to the best of their ability. So whether your closet is for craft supplies, uh, clothing, decor, seasonal items, you wanna figure out a closet organization system that works for you and add in more storage so we can add more wire shelves we can do a really cool closet system that has drawers do whatever is going to maximize space in that closet so that you don't have to take up floor space for storage in that multi-purpose room I said earlier in this video that of course you can have shelves in your multi-purpose room I definitely want you to have that but I want those to be wall mounted shelves so those are gonna be great for books and decorative accents and degrees and stuff like that but it's not going to be great for, you know, that uh, bag of faux flowers you refuse to get rid of because they look really nice in the spring when you remember to put them out, right? <laughs> so that's something we wanna keep in that closet. We just wanna keep it really, really, really well organized so that the multi-purpose room can truly be a room.
Something I see people do all the time when it is a multi-purpose room is they kind of they put their desk right next to a dresser, right next to the shelf, right next to the futon or the bed or whatever. And everything is just kind of lined up along a wall or all the way around the periphery of a room. And it looks really cluttered because you are not allowing me to see any floor space. And it's like, okay, this room is really, really, really small and cramped. And that's not a space you really want to work in. It's also not a space you want to host in. Another common mistake I see is that people try to segment the room by facing the furniture in different directions. And this is something that actually works really well in open concepts, which is probably why people do it. But when we do this in a multi-purpose room, it actually tends to look a lot like a like castle with a moat around it. So again, we're taking up a lot of floor space all at once in one space, and it makes the space feel really small. So what I'd like you to do in an ideal world, if space permits it, is I wanna put your futon across from your office. So I wanna have something on one wall and something Thing on the opposite wall and if we can keep the other two walls fairly open that would be ideal and the reason I want you to do this is because I want you to spread the furniture out as best as you can and I want there to be a lot of some furniture on the walls themselves but I do also want some pieces that are floating while you might think that this makes the space feel more cramped it actually makes it feel more open and it makes it seem like oh maybe this is a sitting room maybe this is extension of a living room as opposed to this is a guest room they're trying to use as 20 different spaces the next way to master multi-purpose space is to use rugs. So rugs are great at segmenting a space and they're also great at unifying a space. So if you have an office that is combined with a guest bedroom, don't be afraid to put down a rug and don't be afraid to put down a rug that takes up a lot of the space. So again, people are like, oh, I'm gonna get two tiny rugs to make it my office space and my sleeping space, but sometimes it makes it feel smaller because we're cluttering up the floor. What I wanna do instead is actually put down one big rug right we don't want it touching the walls but we want something that's scaled appropriately to the room and then if we want to highlight the sitting area right or we put down a coffee table we really want to highlight the sitting area and not so much the office we can add an accent rug on top of that existing rug instead of leaving the room bare I want you to put a rug down because it makes it feel more homey and less storage unit like and I think these multi-purpose rooms turn into a very cold um, off-putting place really easily so that's a step I definitely want you to take okay Hey you guys, that's it for today's video. Those are a few tips on how to master your multi-purpose space. You no longer have to have a cluttered room that is your office and your guest room and your playroom. I've given you all the tools you need to craft a room that looks high end and luxurious, but also works for all of your needs. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram. And if you wanna give Brooklyn and Sheets a try, which I suggest you do, be sure to use my code Kiva for $20 off orders over $100. Until next time, have a beautiful day.